Man in Black was the box office hit and you've probably seen it, but the PlayStation 1 game that came out the same year actually has totally different plot than the blockbuster movie. So in this video I will explain the story of this forgotten Resident Evil clone and try to figure out why Ridley Scott's aliens are trying to kill Agent J in this scene. Men in Black The Game was released in 1997, same year the Will Smith Tommy Lee Jones movie came out. Though it's officially licensed by the movie, turns out the plot is unrelated to the film. Game starts with an intro showing a police being alarmed about the burglary in progress. Undercover officer James Darrell Edwards III is sent to investigate. Inside the apartment he is approached by few suspects and disarms the bomb that was placed there. Then he chases the other suspects and that gets him to a roof where he catches the last one and finds an Olmec Idol statue. Turns out this guy was an alien. An agent shows up, congratulates him and erases his memory. Then we see James being recruited and joining Man in Black. Agent Z explains to him that MIB is a special government agency that deals with alien affairs on Earth. James also learns about the consequences of joining in as agents can't get in touch with their relatives and live beyond the system. Now he's no longer James Darrell Edwards III, he is Agent J. Soon he gets equipped and meets Agent Z on a briefing that explains that a tracking station hasn't reported in over a week, so someone needs to go there and check if everything is okay. For every mission player can choose between three agents, J, K or L. And since Agent L kinda joins MIB at the end of the motion picture, that probably means the game events took place after what happens in the movie. Anyway, one of the agents is sent to Arctic. It turns out people working there are suffering from delusions and a weird flu and while searching what seems to be an empty base, Jay actually meets few of them and they act like zombies. Notes he finds revealed that this disease is something out of this world and I really feel like this is a strong reference to The Thing by John Carpenter. So let me know in the comment section do you agree or not because I'm not very familiar with MIB comics and maybe I'm going too far with this interpretation. This further investigation reveals a secret alien lab underneath the Arctic base. Jake gets into the control room killing some aliens on the way and he messes up with the cooling system causing an explosion that destroys the base. He brings back some samples and it turns out those are five enduring proteins that are very rare. But they are sent to another mission in Cara del Diablo, where some strange incidents took place recently. It's a mine in Amazon and workers report being attacked by unhuman creatures. Z informs that MIB have an informer down there but they lost track of him years ago. He gives the agent an amulet saying to pass it to the informer if he gets a chance. Agent arrives at the bay protected by armed soldiers but they let him inside the gates. Francisco turns out to be a priest, but after taking the amulet he turns into alien. Francisco confirms that there are some unregistered aliens down there in the mine. Also, agent finds documents confirming that some workers have lost their minds after meeting with those aliens. So, Man in Black goes down to the mine and meets aliens hanging out there with one especially big and dangerous, but it's nothing an MIB gun couldn't handle. There is one more thing there, a stone sculptures that look like an entrance to some kind of a tomb. Agent solves a puzzle to open it and turns out there's an alien facility filled with inhibitors. Going further and opening another gate with the use of Olmec idol statues similar to the one found by Jay at the beginning, Agent gets down to the place that really looks like it was taken from the Aliens movies. I mean, even this creature looks much alike. So first the thing and now the aliens. I begin to wonder if it's possible that this game plot focuses on solving the unsolved alien cases from other franchises. And kind of think about it, it would be kind of cool. But okay, let's see what happens next. After killing the alien, agent gets picked up and returns to base. Soon another briefing takes place and this time Z reveals that the mining corporation that owns the mine is fake. It's actually bankrolled by this guy Skip Frail, one of the richest people in the world. Z already sent Agent H after him 
but now he is missing in action. So, another agent is sent to get a closer look at this case. Since Frels lives on a remote island, agent uses a submarine to get there. Man in Black takes down the security and enters what seems to be a base. Soon he must deal with some aliens and it turns out the whole place is a secret alien base. Bigger and more advanced than the last one we saw. Agent explores the place, fighting some aliens on the way. At one point we see a man turning into another back alien. This looks a bit like alien reference I was talking about earlier. Though at this base I can't see any movie references, I know. At the end Frail just shows up operating a mecha and tries to kill Agent, but he just gets his ass kicked and falls apart like a piece of junk. Agent Age is found and rescue, and we get a short outro where the player's memory is erased and we are briefed that all agents who are involved in the operation are granted a well-deserved 48-hour R&R which won't be counted off their vacation. And that's how the game ends.